three of the RS700 and 800 nationals here at Castle Cove Sailing Club certainly delivered. It was definitely a big day in the office. Four races. Please introduce <laughs> yourself. I know uh, it was a tiring day, but tell us all about it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a tiring day. I mean, uh, four races doesn't happen every other day, and um, we were out on the water for about five hours. Can you uh, just, just give the name to camera? People Sorry, haven't uh, met you before. I'm Nathan. Uh, I've actually just joined the class uh, last year, and uh, so I'm quite new to it. And um, it's been proving to be really exciting, actually. Yeah, so we've had four races today, slightly weaker forecast tomorrow. Maybe the wind's not going to get up as early as the as the sailors do. So, uh, yeah, we, we banged it in today. And what do you think of the venue? I mean, this is, uh, well, it's a late summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, Castle Cove's been really delivering, I think, some of the best conditions ever. I mean, we've had, um, well, two windy days to start off with, but today was um, really, really right there where... Um, you know, between 15 to 20, maybe a little less, but it was absolutely perfect. I mean, uh, Weymouth, are, well, Weymouth and Portland just seem to deliver the best conditions possible. I'm glad you said I am, I am biased, <laughs> I think. Uh, and Cost Cove, we've, we've really taken as many boats as I think we possibly can. You say you're quite new to the class. Can you tell yeah. us what, what attracted you to the to the 700? What's the... Well. What's the thing that, that well, grabbed your attention? Well, I mean, you know, besides the speed factor, I mean, it won't go as fast as a moth, but it's certainly... <laughs> not not many single-handers <laughs> do. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think the the fact that you can still really keep the boat up and going downwind with the kite and, uh, you know, it's quite a dynamic class. Um, you know, all the other class members are really, really friendly. It's just a really nice class to be in. You know, the boat, you can really get it up and going upwind and um, you add the kite to that on the downwind's legs and they just fly. flies. So where's your, where's your home club? Where do you normally so sail I, at? I sail at Weston, Weston Sailing Club, um, out of some South, Southampton water. So that's that's a bit different to uh, di different to here. Yeah, well, we get uh, mixed days. I've got to say, it's not too different from Weymouth, but uh, I, I personally think that Weymouth is really special in that regard. Cool. Well, you've got one more day tomorrow, and uh, going to enjoy a relaxed, final evening. And any any yeah. final thoughts going? Maybe one one or two races. To well, go? Uh, you know, as always, the light winds race. Um, it's not everyone's 40 I think it's anyone's race uh, for the light forecast but I think just uh, play, play to your strengths and that will probably be the best for everyone perfect well very best of luck tomorrow thank you oh, thank for your you time so. all right cheers Time to talk to the RS800 fleet. It's getting late in the day, four races, sun started to set, beautiful out here on the balcony. Please introduce yourself. I'm Robbie, Robbie Gilmore. Uh, I'm at the front end of the boat. And uh, I'm on a fell helming. And this is this is a bit of a, can I, is it too soon to say, this is a bit of a family fair with the RS800 fleet. Can you can tell us about this? Yeah, I, I mean, I can start the explanation, Honor, and you can finish it. So I, I um, Honor and I know each other from university days, and we started sailing together. We, Honor had moved down to London, and I started sailing with her. And uh, I ended up having a lot of dinners around at uh, Honor's house. And, uh, you know, after sailing, I was hungry, we have a bit of a debrief. And I discovered that Honor had a sister. <laughs> I can see where this is going. <laughs> well, yeah. And uh, it turns out her sister also sails an 800 and is, is sort of over, just over there. So uh, we've, uh, we've crossed it, tax a few, day, to, a few times today. And it might have been someone we talked to fairly recently as well. It might have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think you've had the pleasure of an interview with uh, Grace, my sister, already <laughs> this week. <laughs> we certainly, certainly did, and she left that off as soon as we started the interview. But it's really nice to be, you know, part of the RS family. And the social aspect, so important. How did you actually get in the class? What attracted you to the class? And what did you sail beforehand? I think I know the answer to this. Well, no, Robbie <laughs> and I were at Cows Week, and Fiona Hampshire was there and talked us into it. I think that's the story. Uh, well, yeah. And you, you really want to sail an 800. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then I'd done a bit of skiff sailing before. You had as well, but a long time before. And we knew each other from team racing, really, at university. And we just thought, oh, well, we'll give it a go. So. And well, before before team racing, what was your... Uh... Well, so before that, I had sailed a laser. I, said, I knew I'd get it out of you eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is that Nor we, I guess we grew up sailing at the other ends of the boat. So, well, you used to do a lot of... Yeah, so still, still do a lot you of... Need, you need to be roughly in the middle of a laser, to be honest. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, Robbie's a laser sailor. I was a topper sailor. And then I uh, crewed for Grace for a number of years in a 29er. And did that teach you that uh, <laughs> what your preferred end was? <laughs> well, I don't know. We swapped around a bit. But I think that one of the things that's nice is when it's main, like main sheeting, the centre main sheeting. I don't know. There's a bit of an even workload between us. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's an even workload. I mean, I see I a lot, a lot of mixed teams, which I think is only a good thing yeah. because that's actually very much um, grassroots sailing and, mm -hmm. and club sailing. And, yeah, yeah, and actually, we, we've now got a couple of mixed classes in the, in the Olympics to 2024. 20, yeah. And, I, you know, yeah. it'll be much nicer to see a completely even split, but perhaps that's, yeah. that's wishful thinking. Yeah. It's good fun. But if you grew a ponytail, be uh, an added bonus, you know. <laughs> Downwind, it's always good to have a ponytail just to grab onto if things get a bit hairy. <laughs> I've never heard that one before, <laughs> but there we go. That was uh, always a trick when I said Grace. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. For, the, for the benefit of the tape, there's nodding in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and just a little bit about today, because it was it was a big day for four races yeah. that's uh that's that's not easy and yeah. especially in flat flat wiring conditions yeah yeah it was busy <laughs> we got better as the day went on though were, uh, the, were your rivals getting fatigued well, or were you uh yeah. a bit of practice is good for us yeah we need as much practice, practice makes perfect yeah. second or third go out this year so yeah uh, so. a bit of rust yeah. and a bit of learning to do yeah. and tomorrow maybe uh it's going to be sort of pressure is king and a bit more bit more tricky what yeah. are you looking forward to that you might have a, a bit of a bit of a delay in the morning and uh yeah i well we quite like it when it's windy i think and actually grace who is the real competition quite likes it when it's light so that's, uh, <laughs> that's okay it's all, it's all coming <laughs> yeah. out now yeah so no it'll be, it'll be good i think we've had three quite i don't know fresh days relatively fresh mm -hmm. not not super fresh but like flat wiring like you say so it'll be quite i nice mean it's actually normally windier than it looks because of the the flat water in portland arbor could be rather deceiving yeah yeah so it'd be nice to have a bit of a change yeah it'd be good yeah. so. okay. perfect well thanks very much for your time yeah. best of luck tomorrow I'll be watching the results yeah thank you well thanks for giving us the chance to chat